Today we're showing you how to make three-dimensional text in Blender for 3D printing. Text can be used from anything from logos to signs to artistic compositions where you want some text on them. But before we do that, make sure you like and follow. So the first thing you're going to see when you open Blender is this default scene. The first thing we do is we're going to get rid of this cube. Now we're going to go up to the menu and we're going to add text. Now you can see here when text pops up, what you do is you hit the tab and you'll be able to backspace out of all the text and put whatever text you want in here. Now there's a few settings you need to know while you're dealing with text. So how do we make it three dimensional? First, we're gonna click on this A. Now, you can change the resolution of the text right here. The next thing to do to make the text three dimensional is hit extrude and you're gonna move the text to the height of millimeters you want. Now, the other thing you could do is you could mess with the bevel. The bevel will make your text much more rounded, as you can see. Now, if you wanna change the font, you do it here where it says font. Now, if you hit this default F, which is weird, it's just the default font in Blender. If you hit the folder, you'll be able to access any fonts that are on your computer. For this, we're using Impact. And the same thing goes for bold, italic, or bold, and italic. So the next section is transform. If you look under size and transform, you'll be able to move the text and make it get much bigger. Right now it's set at one, but you could scale it up to whatever size you need. You could also mess with the shear, which actually tilts it to one side or the other. If you go positive, it will tilt it to the right. If you go negative, it will tilt it to the left. The next area is the paragraph. This lets you justify to the left, to the center, to the right, however you want your text to be justified. Now that we're done getting our text the way we want, we're going to add a backplane to make a sign. And this is pretty straightforward. We're going to go back here. We could either add a plane or a cube. I'm just going to start with the default cube. I'm just going to move it over the area I want, and then I'm going to scale it. Now, you could do this with the information on the side here, or you could actually just do it by dragging it if you roughly know the dimensions you want. Right now, we're not making a perfect sign, so we're just sort of dragging it into the position we want to see. So we're gonna look at our two pieces. You can see the text is way above the actual uh, backplate we made for this sign. We're just gonna drag it down to the right height and make sure the two are intersecting. So when we print this, they'll be joined. Now you can also join these or do other things like that. But for the purpose of this, we don't really need to do that. Now we're gonna export this as an XTL and throw it in our slicing software. In this case, it's Bamboo Labs. Once again, a lot more clicking. We're changing the color. We're doing this as a two color print. And let's get this plate sliced. I hope you enjoyed the step-by-step -step guide on text in Blender. For more on 3D printing, technology, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like it, follow Maker Build It, and remember, keep on making.